One of the questions I often get at our clinics and inside our membership is, what should I do with my hands? Should my fingers be together or apart when I'm swimming? And we know from a study that was done a couple of years ago that they found a 10 degree angle between the fingers is the ideal range. And that's your little finger and your index finger, about a 10 degree angle between those ones. Now, I don't want you thinking about 10 degrees angles when you swim, that's not going to be doable. But the way you can think of that is a little bit of a gap between your fingers is best. And the way I've taught this the last couple of years is keep soft hands. So if you have really tense hands, you're going to be wasting effort. But if you just relax the hands and have just enough tension to hold the shape, then you'll naturally have this little bit of a gap between the fingers. So if you maintain soft hands as you swim, that will give you that ideal gap between the fingers, which will just mean you'll have a bit more surface area to use as you go through the catch and through the pool. If you enjoy this sort of stuff and you're looking to improve your swimming, check out our Effortless Swimming membership where we've got all of our technique videos and courses to help you become a better freestyler.